Here's what I wish I knew in year one rather than year six of professional modeling. Stop accepting every audition request. Turn down more requests. What you need is a proper formula for knowing exactly what requests to accept and say, yes, I will audition for this and knowing which ones are a very clear no. I will not thank you for your time, for your interest, but no thank you. You should want to know this because if you just accept every request that comes your way, at some point, you're going to lose money, like I did. You're going to lose time, like I did. And in a worst case scenario, you're going to have your ethics compromised or at very least put in a very delicate situation, which doesn't feel good anyway. So if you don't have a nice formula, which I will give you in this video, you are going to find yourself stuck at some point in a not good situation. The intensity of how not good, who knows? So what I like to do is uh, it's called a three, I call it basically the three M check. It's a three step. M check, M like the letter. Three-step M check, it's for morality or the ethics like we just mentioned. Momentum, I wanna keep things going in a good, positive, strong direction and money because it's a business. This is your career, this is your income. So morality, momentum, money. Remember these, morality. When an audition request comes in, they say, hey, I want you to audition for this role, for whatever it is, this advertisement, this client, this agency, this, whatever you wanna call it. When this comes in and you look at it and you say, oh, this seems interesting. First check is your morality. Is this something that would compromise your ethics? Like, is this something that you are completely against either the brand that's behind it or the actual shoot itself? If let's say it's against your religion, right? If it's like, we don't eat pork in our religion, then this shoot that comes in and says, Hey, here's this pork sausage factory that wants to book you that check on the three M check instantly mm. your morality. It's a no. So you can respectfully say, thank you for your interest, but no, thank you. I'm going to pass on this one. You wanna go through the morality check first. This is the most intense thing. And the reason that this is first on the list for me is because I would rather lose money. I would rather lose time. I would rather lose momentum than to do something that's against my morality, against my ethics, because I have to sleep with me every single day. I have to live with me every single day. You have to sleep with you every day. You live with you every day. The thoughts that go on, when they're clean and you can say, you know what, I've never compromised myself. We've heard of stories of all this stuff. Like this person sold their soul for whatever it was. I don't have that issue. I sleep very well at night because I don't have this issue and I don't want you to have the issue either. I'm pretty sure you don't want to be in that situation. So morality is first because the other ones, if you take a hit on some of those, it doesn't impact you anywhere near as much as if you compromise your morality. Don't do that. Secondly, momentum. What this looks like is... If you, let's say, I haven't shot in a while and it's just like, oh, okay, here's a shot, uh, uh, audition for a shoot that comes up and you're like, well, I haven't shot in a while. I, I want to kind of dust off the cobwebs. Let me get back to it. That's great. That could be building momentum for you. So you might say this either fills a spot or a space in my portfolio. That's a good momentum builder for you as well. Cause you're like, ah, oh, I've had this gap. I've not shot for an outdoor brand and I really wanted some outdoor photos in my portfolio. That's kind of what was missing. And this one just reached out, boom, let's do it. It fills that gap. If a brand reaches out and they say, hey, we want you for this audition, will you submit? It checks out the morality test, but you say, uh, it doesn't really fill that momentum builder. Like, I don't need this in my portfolio. I already have images like this that are very high quality, or it doesn't really excite me to go do. If I don't really want to go do this shoot, that's the momentum. It's like, if you do the shoot, it's going to take your time and it's going to be an energy suck, most likely, if you already know it's not something you want to do. So just pass on that. If it's not going to fill and build momentum for you in those spaces, don't do it. If you don't desire to go do a shoot, you don't have to do a shoot. If you get the request, you can turn that down, even if it passed your morality check. Number three is money. Maybe it's within your morality. Maybe it's a momentum builder. And maybe the money just isn't right. And that's a good enough reason for you to decline it as well. But, but before you decline, try to negotiate because rates are negotiable. A lot of things are negotiable. You want to negotiate. And there's another negotiation video that I have inside the school. If you're not in the school community, go to school.com slash pose to 
profit. Again, it's school with a K, school.com slash post to profit. In there, there's beautiful courses and you'll see stuff on how to negotiate with an actual literal script, whether you're text negotiating, you're negotiating in DMs, you know, somebody reached out on Instagram or wherever else. And uh, even over phone, you can have the script that's like, this is how you negotiate your rates. Good tips and tricks you can use even with your agent if the agent's negotiating on your behalf, either way. So this isn't a hard no if the rate isn't good, if the money is not right, but it is something that you could say, eh, I'm not gonna do it for less than this amount of money. And that's fine. You could turn it down if they can't find that level. If you guys don't get to that level, that's a good reason to turn down the shoot. Now, I'm gonna give you a few examples here of... Uh, <laughs> Oh boy, of experiences that I had. So early on, when I first started modeling, I remember chatting with my agency. And at the time it was like, there's so many different things that I don't know. There's so many categories, so many questions that I had and very few answers at the time. And one of those things was, are you willing to model for an alcohol brand? And I was like, ooh, alcohol. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Do I want to promote drinking? Do I want to promote drinking alcohol? I don't really know. And I was like, mm, no, no thanks. I don't want to do that. Next one, what about tobacco? Tobacco was an absolute no for me. I grew up, both my parents smoked cigarettes my whole life and growing up and as a child, I absolutely hated it. Like the worst thing about my childhood, my life growing up was like my parents smoking cigarettes. Like the smoke, everything about it, I just hated it. So that's a hard no for me. My set of rules, principles for myself, my I wouldn't say morality, but it kind of falls into this category. It's a hard no. So still to this day, tobacco is a hard no. But in my 10 plus years of doing this, there's a time where it's like, you know what? I'm actually open to doing alcohol brands if it's tasteful, right? It wasn't a hard no anymore. And that's okay. You can shuffle these things. But you have to go through this test. You have to go through the checklist so that you know, okay, when I go and do this, if I'm going to embark on it, I'm not putting my morals on the line. It's not going to be something that's questionable with my ethics. That was how it was for me early on. No tobacco, still to this day, never, oh, no. I mean, maybe things change in the future, who knows, but I don't foresee that at all. Alcohol, I was like, no, kind of a soft no. And then, yeah, okay, I can do it now. There's a little bit of a window that I'm open to doing it, right? A little tasteful whiskey shoot or something like that, right? Like I've done that before. So that's like the morality on the line, right? Something like this, if it's totally against your beliefs, your system, just turn it down. That's the first thing. No, thank you. Appreciate it, but no, thank you. Uh, momentum builder for me, sometimes you get an opportunity to fill a gap in your portfolio, which is awesome. It's like, I know I want to get something like this, but I haven't done anything like that yet. Nothing's come across the table. And I also haven't developed a test shoot on my own to go and do this thing. And one of those for me at the time of this was <laughs> uh, an outdoor shoot with off-roading vehicles, right? Like I like to ride motorcycles, dirt bike, you know, quads, that sort of thing. And a request came in and it was like, hey, they want to book you. Are you open to this? Do you want to do it? Do you want to take this audition request? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, absolutely. I would have done this shoot for free without a doubt. It was just like, just epic outdoor ATVs, like ripping through the woods at a beautiful scenic spot. They would cover the hotel, the travel, lodging, all of this stuff. I'm like, dude, I would do this for free. And they wanted to pay me to do it. And I'm like, absolutely. And they paid a good amount for this. That's the sort of thing that if they weren't paying that great, because it's a it was a client that I really would have loved to work with. It was a gap in my portfolio. So a momentum builder of like, even if I did this one for free, the future business that could come from this theoretically is unlimited, right? Because that one image or the several images that come out of that, the assets that come from that shoot, those could be used in my portfolio forever. And they could be used to market me to certain places that I hadn't yet at that point had any imagery to market me for. So the momentum builder for that for me was really high. So both in business and personal, I really wanted to do this type of shoot personally and business. It's like, this fills a gap in my portfolio. So it's a momentum builder there. That checks, even if the rate was like, oh, it was not good, then I might have considered it, right? I have this kind of set of principles, these three M's to measure everything up against. And I go, mm, hold it up to that. And I'm like, kind of doesn't really hit that. But you know what? It's worth it. Like, I'll have a blast doing it. It'll be a good little adventure vacation, call it whatever you want. So that's the momentum side of things. And then for the money, this is something that like... <laughs> 
something that I messed up for a long time. I would take almost, I would take almost any shoot. As long as it passed the morality check, it was like, book me, I'm in, right? And in doing that, I would take shoots where I would fly a thousand miles. I would shoot for one hour. I would get paid for two hours. And then I would fly <laughs> these damn bullets. <laughs> and then I would fly back and be like, hey, that was awesome. A successful day. Another shoot in the books. But the reality is the money was not there because after four hours of flying round trip, after the two hours spent going to the airport from the airport, after the one hour plus of, you know, sitting in the airport, after paying for the Uber to and from the shoot, after buying food and all these other expenses in incurred during that quick day trip that it was like, oh, day tripping as a model. It's so cool. I'm going and doing all this stuff. It was like a big ego pump, right? So the momentum was good there, but the money was not good. It was like, I would have made by the end of that day, if I just went and sat on the beach and watched the waves all day long and even order a nice big breakfast, lunch, and dinner, I would have ended the day at a higher net worth than I did having taken the trip. So it's like, these are not, <laughs> these are not things that I knew early on. It, but when you factor in everything, your time as well, how much is your time worth? Could you go and just do something on your own that you would enjoy that day, whether it's to sit at the beach all day or go do something else and still end up at the same, at the end of the day, the same worth, the same amount in your bank account overall? I didn't know this early on. I just saw, oh, I'm getting more money, but it wasn't like, well, let's calculate how much am I spending in order to get that money and how much of my time and the cost value of all that. So factoring in all this stuff, it was like, dude, don't take the shoot. Just go take the day off and go have a good time doing whatever you want around town and end up with more money because you're really paying all this money just for a couple of photos. And by the way, this was not filling a gap in my portfolio. These were just regular e-com photos that I had done a bunch of times before this and I had way more images even higher quality images so the real only thing that I could think of that oh there was a high potential value there is networking is like okay maybe being in the studio with these photographers and hair makeup artists and stylists and producers and all this stuff maybe there's a conversation that I could strike up that leads to more business down the road you know, or more connections with these people or something like that. That's the only real potential ROI on a trip like that. So, which arguably great, it's worth it. But again, against the three M's, it's like, no, the money, not worth it. Don't do this. Don't take the shoot. You're, you're better off just respectfully declining the shoot and going about your day and doing whatever you want. So remember this, 3M check when you have shoots come in, turn down more shoots. If it goes against your morality or even gets close to your morality, get clarity on it first. Get clarity from the producer, from your agent, from whoever it may be. Get clarity. Hey, this is kind of touchy for me, like with the alcohol for me. It's like, what what brand alcohol, what style of a shoot, what are they kind of marketing for and who are they marketing towards? Because if this is an alcohol shoot, that's like, we're going to gear this toward high school kids. You know, I'm not saying this is a thing, but like if they were going to do that, that's a hard no for me. But hey, this is an alcohol shoot. We're gearing it toward folks in their 50s. It's like, okay, cool. Well, if it's tasteful and it's for folks in their 50s, having a good time with their friends, whatever, maybe that's different. So get your morality check. Get your momentum check, personal momentum or business momentum. Is this something that fills a gap in your portfolio? Is this something that you just want to do on your own? You're like, man, this would be a really cool shoot to do. Like that outdoor one, the ATV one was for me. Or is the money right? All of these things, if they all check out, then it's a green light. Let's go audition, go book that shoot, make it happen.